Meanwhile, the Biden administration is preparing to sign a deal that would allow U.S.-based firms and uh, General Electric to produce engines for military aircraft on the Indian soil. A deal finalizing the joint production is expected to be inked and announced by the time Biden hosts Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for an official state visit on June 22nd. The White House said in January that it had received the application to jointly produce the engines in India. And this is amid China's territorial ambitions. Washington is working to deepen ties with the world's largest democracy and sees deeper military to military and technology ties. India, the world's largest arms importer, depends on Russia for nearly half of its military supplies. Over the decades, India has bought Russian fighter jets, tanks, nuclear submarines and an aircraft carrier. India's state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited had previously said that it planned to use the G-manufactured 414 engine on Tejas light combat aircraft. As per the Reuters news agency, the deal is not finalized and also requires notification to the U.S. Congress. Washington maintains strict controls over what domestic military technology can be shared or sold to other countries. A broader joint partnership between U.S. and India announced earlier this year is designed to encourage firms to collaborate especially on the military equipment and tech. Now, GE has offered some transfer of technology to HAL, which will produce the engines as a licensed manufacturer. However, India is reportedly pushing for more technology to be shared. While India can manufacture jets domestically, it is keen to get the know-how to make the aircraft engines. State-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is using a lighter GE engine for the 83 light combat aircraft. It is manufacturing for the Indian Air Force. India intends to produce more than 350 fighter jets for its Air Force and Navy over the next two decades, which could be powered by the GE 414.